A really good puzzle here and a great one to draw. The ratio of apples to oranges in a box is four to seven. After 42 apples and 42 oranges are removed, the ratio is now three to seven. And the question we are asked is how many more oranges than apples were in the box at the start? Okay, so we've got apples and we've got oranges. So let's have, right, there you go, apples and oranges. And the ratio at the beginning is four to seven. And I might use my thicker pen just for this. So there we go. So what have we got? One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's four parts apples and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts oranges. Okay. Now, after 42 apples and 42 oranges, now this is interesting, isn't it? Because we've got the same number of apples and the same number of oranges um, being removed. And the ratio is now three to seven, which is a bit of a head scratcher because, um, you know, if it had gone, I don't know, one of them, this is remaining seven and this has gone from four to three. And wow, it can be difficult to think of how to represent that. So you might be, and especially when it's the, the same amount is being taken. Um, well, we know, we don't know how much of either of these that is. So it, it is tricky. So I tried to think of a way that I could take away a, a, a piece of each and still keep the, the units matching, as it were. And what I decided to do was this. Okay, so and I have no idea how anyone else has done this. So this could be completely left field. I don't know. But right, so each of them, we lose 42. And I'm just going to, so each of them, we lose 42. And we start with four to seven, and we want to go to three to seven. So that's just my note to remember. And what is the question? Well, the question is this. What's the difference here at the start? Um, so that's our question mark. Okay. So how I decided to do it is I decided to look at what is 42. I decided, divided 42 by 7. So we've got 42 divided by 7, and that equals 6. And what that tells me is how much I could remove from each of these units and have all of these units remain the same size because that's what I want. I want to maintain my equal parts. So I'm going to use a color for that then. I'll use the pink actually. So what I'm going to do is this is, I'm going to take these parts off. Okay. And I'm taking the same part off. And what I'm taking off here is actually six. I The size of this is arbitrary, but this section that I'm shaving off is six. Each of these has a value of six. Okay, I'll mark that in there. All right, so all of these have a value of six. And so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixes, and that gives us our 42. Now, this now needs to match, doesn't it? So I am going to take the six off each of these. Okay, so there's my portion of six, my portion of six, another portion of six, and another portion of six. So I've done the same up here. Okay. Now I've still got seven parts here and I have got four matching parts here. Now I've here I've taken away the full 42, haven't I? 
Okay, so that I've done. But up here, so far, I have only taken away one, two, three, four sixes, which is 24. So, so far, I've only taken away 24. Let me just, so let's just, so that, that, that is 24. But what do I need to take away? I need to take away 42. So, um, so what's the, what do I have left to take away? Well, I need to take away, um, so it's 42 subtract 24 is 18. And also, I'm, I need to end up with three equal parts here to the seven equal parts here, which means that I must have to take away this part. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to do it in green. So that part needs to go. This part's gone already. And that part needs to go. And if that part goes, then I will be left with the three equal parts to the seven equal parts. So that tells me that this part must equal 18. Okay, because that's what I have left to remove because I've already removed 24 of the 42 that I'm taking away. So this part must be 18. Okay, so now that tells me if I add 18, add 6, that gives me 24. And of course, that now gives me the value, or I'll put it in here, okay, of each of these original parts. Okay, and um, what were we asked? Well, this is, we're going back, this is our question here. So this is our question mark. This is what we wanted to know. How many more oranges than apples were in the box at the start? Well, that is three of these original parts and these original parts are 24. So we need to do 24 times three and that gives us 70. Two. So that's the answer. 72. There were 72 more oranges than apples in the box at the start. OK, I hope you could follow that. I thought that was a really neat question. And um, and yes, the bar model did show me how to solve it.